Hi, welcome to Pray in Secret. I am so glad that you joined me because I want to get into the secret place, that Psalm 91 secret place under the wing of the Lord. So I invite you to join me. And today I'm going to pray for the priesthood, you know, the leadership, the spiritual leadership. Join me. This is a prayer of the priesthood for repentance. Great and awesome God, we bow before you now. We seek your face in shame and sadness before you. We know you have called us to represent you on the earth. But we confess we have failed to do this, which you have entrusted to us. We know you have set us apart to be yours. But we confess we have failed to seek you and trust you in faith and confidence. We have the treasure of your holy word and the privilege of coming before your presence. But we have not studied your word like we need to. And we have not chased after your presence as you desire for us to do. We have failed to deny ourselves. We have failed to pray and seek your face. We have not even prayed as we need to pray against the counterfeit church, which profanes your name day and night. We have failed to do more for the widows and widowers, the orphans, the poor, and the homeless. We recognize that these failures on our part are greatly the reason why many do not want to come to worship services anymore, and they choose instead to stay away from congregational gatherings. Dear Father God, help us to recognize that we are really a mess with distractions, selfish ambitions, hidden hurts and pains, pride, arrogance, stinginess, murmuring, complaining, criticizing, speaking slanderous and backbiting words against one another, our own sisters and brothers in the faith. Please help us, Holy Spirit. Please help us, Holy Spirit, to humble ourselves, to examine ourselves, and repent from these ways of straying from you and repent from hurting the people of God. Please redeem the time of our failure. Please redeem us from failing to show your love and light to the lost and backslidden. Holy Spirit, stir us up and quicken us to be encouragers. Holy Spirit, fill us with forgiveness towards those who have hurt us, betrayed us, and offended us. Oh, Lord God, you are the mercy seat and you have already paid for their trespasses against us. They don't have to pay for it again. Please. Forgive us, Father, if we have grieved you, and if we have profaned your name in any way to the lost, the backslidden, or new believers, please forgive us if we have caused anyone to turn away from the church, or from your word, or from you. Oh, Lord. 
merciful God, we repent and ask that you would cover these things, these failures, with your blood. We ask that you would redeem the moments of any hurts, betrayals, disillusionment, trauma, or abandonment that we cause to others, and please grant your cleansing, healing, and restoration. We choose to lay down our selfish ambitions now. We choose to lay down our selfish agendas that keep us so distracted from you. Help us, Holy Spirit, to return to the Almighty God and renew our relationship with the one who has saved us by his blood and in his name. Then, may we arise and shine with the light of Jesus of Nazareth in the darkness of this time and this culture, so we may truly represent you, the living God, on the earth. In the name of of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen and amen.